Okay. Hey there everyone, Rubius here and welcome to Dev Tycoon 2. I'm gonna try it out this game and hope that I don't have to replay this. I think it is an idle game. Okay. Um which one's closest to me? I'll go with this one. I'm sporting a short beard now. <laughs> Okay, Ruby is zero zero one. Let's go. Can we get for the one? Hi, Ruby is zero zero one. So you've decided to become a game developer? Nice. My name is Harvey Preston. I'm here to help you figure everything out and get started. Okay. Have you played Dev Tycoon Two before? There's lots of cool stuff in the game. We want to tell you about we. Recommend clicking now if you have never played Dev Tycoon game before. Ow! Oh, what the heck? Ah! Uh, <laughs> gonna restart the game? Um. Okay, I'm back. <laughs> okay, I'm an idiot. I didn't read if it's yes or no. <laughs> I immediately thought that the red one is snow. <laughs> ah, what the heck? Why did you make red? Yes. <laughs> oh man. Okay. Again, new game. Here I go. <laughs> ah. Yes. No. Okay. <laughs> what is the main purpose of a game developer? Make games. Of course, let's try to create your first game. Click to continue. Let's start with the concept. Here you may enter your game's name, choose genre, theme, etc. I'll tell you later. Keep in mind, theme and genre of the game should coexist, or your game will be out of people's interest. Choose theme and genre, come up with the name, and click next. Ah. Uh. <laughs> okay, Inti Typhoon. The heck am I doing? <laughs> okay, Inti Typhoon. <laughs> the heck? Okay. This all together in two for now. Hooray! Your first level up. You will get some development points TP after every new level. You may spend them on different cool things. Let's check some of them. Click Knowledge tab. Okay. Here are your skills. Each of them is important for development. The technology skill shows how well you code design, shows your ability to create beauty, how quickly you cope with all tasks depends on speed skill. Distribute points as you wish and move on. Ah. <laughs> okay, now let's check theme tab. Click on it. Here you may unlock new game themes with research points. Okay, like with the spacing. You get research points while making games. Themes are important for making trendy games. Experience really small here. Trendy games bring you hype and money. Trends change over time. Current ones can be viewed on the main page of the browser. You can check it later. For now, spend some points on a new theme. When you're done, close the tab to get back to the main screen. Uh, what do I can unlock? <laughs> Don't have anything. Close the tab. See these sliders? By moving them, you choose what's more important for your game. Depending on its genre and theme, put them as you want and let's go on. Okay. It's a strategy game. Hack and attack. Let's speed it. You need to find the same word. That's written on the screen. No doubt Russians are involved. The heck? Open. Uh, okay. Else. Open. Else. 
Okay, I'm kinda slow with that mini game. Great, we prevented the attack. Hackers are pleasantly surprised by this and helped us with bug fixing. The heck, <laughs> I'm slow with that. If we didn't make it on time, they will probably spoil our code. Try not to get in this trouble. Houston, we have a bug. We need some time to find and fix it. Well, you may release the game with them, but it will low down our rating. <laughs> okay. The lower the rating, the fewer players and less profit you will get. Show yourself as a responsible developer, not like some dev tycoon create. <laughs> the heck are you saying? Wait until bugs are fixed and click release. Lie the news. <laughs> oh, a little lie will do no harm. IPR is up for something. According to Inside the Info, IPR will show something incredible on the up upcoming presentation. Must be a breakthrough. One more bug. Okay, no more bug. Release. Achievement unlocked. Beginning of the story. <laughs> After release, developer's life is up into two sections, development and post-release. After the game was published, it cannot be changed. But if there are spare money, you may promote the game to bring us new users. Let's try to do it. Click Add Boost and spend some money on ads. Okay. Okay. I peer. That, 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 that industry. <laughs> On today's presentation, I peer announced first touch screen cell phone. Peer phone. <laughs> CEO said, We're going to make some history today. Smartphones era is coming. <laughs> Here comes the money. Let's spend them. Do you know every gamer's passion? Right. It's powerful computer. Go to eBoy website through the browser. Let's upgrade your PC. Here you can see your computer characteristics that affect on the productiveness. The more powerful is your computer, the higher your game's technical qualities. Traffic becomes more beautiful and thus completion speed also becomes faster. Let's upgrade it. Buy and install new GPU. Okay, let's go with the 2001. Okay, take my old playbox too. I'll take it back after tutorial. What? Why do you need it? To fix bugs, of course. Now you're prepared to create your first console game. Remember, consoles and phones generation are changing. You may find new devices in Walmart. market. Check it later and now let's create a game for Playbox 2. You'll need a license to make a console for or mobile games. You should buy a special one for each device. They can be bought in platform tab. Now we have temporary license only for one game. After tutorial, you must pay for another one. Buy yourself. Let's choose Playbox 2 as a platform for a new game. Okay. Players differ each platform. Users have their own taste. So keep in mind while choosing the platform for your game pc console or smartphone try it and release game by yourself okay next <laughs> oh okay i'll level up Open, please up 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 the heck what i was Okay guys, I didn't manage to read it. Hopefully you can by pausing. <laughs> okay, let's go. Okay, it's complete. Ah, there's still bugs. At least the design level. And then the speed. Okay. Okay, the bug is done. Release. Well, that's it. I've teach you everything you need. Kids grow up so fast. Heck, I remember how your fingers timidly entered a nickname. Well, continue the game. I'll be watching you and teach you the nuances of game developers' life. List two more games and I'll come back to tell you about engines. Peck.
<laughs> Knowledge is power. Don't forget to train your brain. Read books to get skills that will help you with game marketing. Marketing. Game making. Hmm. I wish it will be so easy in real life. <laughs> okay, what a quick skip. Tensions. It's getting harder. Ah, I mean the game that. Alright, now you're ready to know about engine. Hmm, let's meet in engine tab. Working with engine is one of the most important part of game development. Here you can open up some new technical features for your games to keep up to date. Don't forget to check it if you don't want to make one more useless pixel game. <laughs> the heck? Is everything your manager, your doctor, and also another settlement needs are held? <laughs> Great! You've made a trendy game, that can be handy. Cool, you made a game on trending platform, this will add us downloads. Okay, I think that's everything, and I forgot I'm recording. So, well, hope you guys enjoyed the video, and hope to see you in the next one. Bye bye! I can keep playing this one for a bit. Ha ha ha.